Assalamualaikum and hello IBIT 2 Puan Madlina, our MGT400 Introduction to Management Lecturer and also our fellow respective audience. My name is Noor Naili Binti Sharif and together with my group mates who are Noor Afzaniza, Noor Suha, Nurul Afika and also Siti Aisha from the class LG2434BI, we will be presenting about the challenges in managing company in the 21st century with the company 711 Malaysia Holdings Perhad. Hello, my name is Nur Suha binti Zain Azman Shah and I will be giving a brief introduction of 7-Eleven Malaysia Holdings Berhad. Basically, it is a non-operating investment holding company and was founded on 4th of June 1984 and has become a prominent icon in the retailing sector for the past 28 years with an average of 900,000 customers per day. They have also opened more than 24,000 chains all over Malaysia. In addition, 7-Eleven became the owner of the largest retail pharmacy in which Caring Pharmacy Group Berhad is a major subsidiary company. To kickstart with the first challenge of our presentation, of course it is a must for us to note the challenges that they faced during the pandemic of COVID-19 and this is because of the limited operational hours. Just as any other business affected, because of the movement control order or the conditional movement control order and its operating hours restrictions, the company's convenience store outlets, which has been operating for 24 hours a day, has been forced to reduce its business hour. And not just that, for some cases of the outlets located inside of mall, they have been forced to be fully closed. And not just that, additionally, in the fasting months of 2020 and 2021, they have also experienced major drawbacks because of the lack of business activities. LIM 2021 have also claimed other factors of challenges that follows up to this particular issue to be higher selling and distribution expenses, higher administrative and finance costs, and also their income tax expenses. And because of these challenges, the consequences that the company had to face was of course the decline of average annual profit. For instance, in their first quarterly net profit in 2020, they have experienced such a major decline despite the fact that at that time, they have just recently acquired a pharmaceutical unit called the Caring Pharmacy Group, Berhad. Not just that, they also experienced a delay of plans in opening new outlets nationwide. However, not to fret, the higher ups of the company have been seen to be actively and continuously find alternatives and solutions in order to combat these challenges. Hello, my name is Siti Aisha Binti Fauzi and I will explain the challenges among competitors of 7-Eleven. In Malaysia, consumers today have a wide range of retail outlets to choose from, including small individual stores, mini markets, shopping malls, and hypermarkets. The introduction of a foreign retail competitor into the market has unquestionably increased competition in all areas including price, quality, variety, and also convenience. When it comes to operations, 7-Eleven convenience stores have a particular competitive edge over other retailers because they are open 24, hour, 24 hours a day when most other retailers are not. In terms of location, 7-Eleven convenience stores have an edge over fuel kiosk-based convenience stores because 7-Eleven stores are not geographically limited in terms of where stores can be opened. Petrol kiosks, on the other hand, can only be set up in specific sites that have been licensed for the purpose. Petrol stations such as Shell, Petronas, and Petron have also opened their convenience uh, stores such as Select, Mustra, and Treats. 7-Eleven retailers also face the threat of new competitors entering the convenience store business in Malaysia, particularly established overseas convenience stores giants such as 99 Speedmart, MyNews.com, and Family Mart who are direct competitors of 7-Eleven globally. With the entrance of Japan's Family Mart, the Malaysian convenience store market became even more crowded. It has also so far launched 162 stores in collaboration with local agro-food company QM Resources, but by 2025, it hopes to have 1,000 locations. They supply their own brand products like fresh or damn steamed fish cakes, 
onigiri rice and bread. We can see that Family Mart stores have attracted a lot of customers since their first launch in Malaysia as they provide a variety of food choices to customers which differs from 7-Eleven. Other than that, MyNews.com stores uh, have also been competing among 7-Eleven as well. MyNews Holding Berhad is the, group, is the group's holding company. It collaborates with Gourmet Kineya, a Japanese fresh food company, to make ready-to-eat meals for its convenience stores. At the same time, the company is collaborating with Japan's Royupan Baking Corporation to produce bread products for its clients. So what can be observed is that 7-Eleven's problem is the limited assortment it offers. You might be able to get what you need but your options will be limited because 7-Eleven does not carry all the brands that customers want. Furthermore, 7-Eleven is not every customer's first option which is one of the company's flaws. People will undoubtedly shop at other convenience stores, supermarkets or larger stores to acquire groceries or other daily necessities as they will have more options and purchasing power. Thank you. Now I will be explaining about challenges in achieving effective communication in the organization in terms of ethical communication. Back in 2015, during the implementation of GST, the price for newspaper products are excluded. However, 7-Eleven did not comply with the GST implementation and they taxed the newspapers that are being sold at all 7-Eleven branches. The organization, however, have received a warning from Customs Department Director General Dato Sri Hazali Ahmad due to the complaints and backlash received from the customers. And due to this, 7-Eleven Malaysia Holdings Berhad came out with a clear statement announcing that the problem happened due to a system error. However, it can be seen that aside from the system error issue, this problem arises due to the miscommunication in the organization, especially in the managing department regarding the implementation of GSD. And due to this, 7-Eleven itself being one of the most successful organizations in Malaysia, there are bound to be blunders in the organization, especially in terms of ethical communication. And in order to resolve the issue and gain the public's trust, 7-Eleven has requested the customers who were involved with the issue to contact their organization through private message via 7-Eleven Malaysia's official Facebook page or their official email to rectify the matter. It can be seen that 7-Eleven are trying to improve their reputation by seriously upholding the ethical communication in business as they try to communicate to their customers regarding the issue of taxing newspapers with truth, with truth and complete honesty on their side. As a result, the company is able to gain the customer's faith again due to their honest and earnest apology and fast actions in tackling the issue. Now that you have an idea of the challenges 7-Eleven faced during pandemic-wise, communication-wise as well as comfort-wise, we are going to be diving into the challenges that 7-Eleven encountered in providing customers demand and satisfaction. As far as everyone knows, 7-Eleven is one of the top convenience stores that is known for the convenience that they provide. A stated from Gia, and will report that their mission is to consistently serve the changing needs of customers for the convenience. Even though 7-Eleven's goal is focused on adapting to change and to satisfy the needs of their consumers, however, there is some slack found in achieving this mission of theirs which every entity must have struggled with in order to fulfill their customers' demand and satisfaction. Speaking of 7-Eleven challenges, it can be seen that they do have a hard time giving good experiences to their customers by failing to provide convenient payment methods. According to the Edge Market 2017, a myriad of 7-Eleven customers have complained that 7-Eleven does not provide services such as payment in store which they find using. They have received issues from the customers for not having cashless transactions and credit card payment, specifically e-wallet payment. As we are leading to a cashless society now, not everyone carries enough cash in their pockets every time and everywhere. People nowadays prefer cashless payment systems as it makes things so much easier in purchasing goods in a more convenient, faster, and safer way. In which adds to the point where customers believe that financial transactions are more transparent in the system using e-wallet payment methods. On top of that, the majority believe that by installing an e-wallet payment in 7-Eleven helps to save time. This is because with a mobile wallet, you can pay quickly by holding your phone over the payment terminal and verifying the purchase. 
such an app allows the queues in 7-Eleven to move faster as most um, transactions can be completed in just a few seconds. In drawing things to a close, customers also prefer the e-wallet payment option because cash transactions may impact on safety, hygiene, and health risk. The majority of people believe that in by implanting e-wallet payment method can reduce the risk of robbery and on another side note, as we are in a pandemic where COVID-19 is a physical transmission disease that is known as very dangerous and spreadable, this emphasizes more reasons for why most customers find cash payment method inconvenient. With everything that is been going on with the coronavirus, the World Health Organization encourages people to use as many digital payment options as possible as we know that money changes hands can pick up all sorts of bacteria and viruses. If 7-Eleven overlook these issues from their customers, they will experience tremendous effects in which they may lose potential customers due to the inability for not fulfilling their customers' demand which greatly leads to the second effect, it will leave bad impressions as well as impacting on the store's reputation. Eventually, the consequence that can be seen where it affects their stores and sales negatively. Last but not least, I, Nurul Afrika binti Mama Isa, will be talking about 7-Eleven and their security issues. 7-Eleven is famous for how they do not have security supervising the store's safety. The convenience store is only often manned by one person during each shift which is the cashier. This may not be an issue when it is light out and many eyes are about, but when light goes out and the sun goes to sleep, issues may arise from time to time. As mentioned previously, 7-Eleven is only ever occupied by one staff member or two if you are lucky. The staff member that is usually alone is the person who handles the cash register and most often time will be alone. 7-Elevens usually have one room where their employees get to have a break while still being able to look through CCTV cameras that are put around in the store through a monitor in the room. Other than the CCTV cameras, the convenience store is usually built with a wide convex mirror in one of the corners usually visible and able to be seen from the cash register to monitor customers' behavior whether they need any assistance or not. Despite having CCTV cameras and a monitor with CCTV footage and wide convex mirrors, it is undeniable that the convenience store 7-Eleven is not a safe place, especially during the after hours. Not only do robberies happen, but other unwanted mishaps may also happen during the dark hours of one's shift hours. For example, here are a few news articles on the robberies that have happened in 7-Eleven stores in Malaysia. The first one being set in Cheras, Kuala Lumpur 2020, where a 21-year-old committed robbery, the man was armed with an axe, a butcher knife, and a fork lock. He didn't only rob one 7-Eleven store, but multiple 7-Eleven stores around the area, and has caused the loss of RM 1,077 ringgit and 5 cents. In 2017, a robbery was committed in a 7-Eleven store at 4.40 a.m. in Tanjung Malimpera. The incident was caught on cameras where the man pretended to look for more items after putting down the items he had already been holding. He pulled out his slingshot from out of his pocket and actually shot the staff that was manning the cash register. He then continued to grab drinks and sausages and then went ahead to grab multiple boxes of cigarettes and ran out quickly. Even from just two examples out of many, it is clear to see that the issue of not having tight enough security at the convenience store 7-Eleven can cause not only the loss of money from a day's work, but also the possibility of someone's life or safety being risked. Not only that, since 7-Eleven locations are all over the place in Malaysia, there is a possibility that help, such as the police station, may be far and would reach the place much later. In comparison, if 7-Eleven had an actual security person working alongside the cashier, the place would be much safer no matter day or night. And there are a number of challenges that were discussed through this video that 7-Eleven has to go through. A few of them being COVID-19 challenges and the way they had to cut down operational hours, rising rivalries in the 24-hour operating convenience stores such as Family Mart and MyNews.com, achieving effective communication while still maintaining ethical communication styles, having to cater to each and every customer's demand and satisfaction, and last but not least, their security issues that have caused a lot of robberies to happen. 
with each and every challenge faced. 7-Eleven must find a way to improve and overcome these for a better and more improved future of the company with the hopes that they will continue to prosper.